Hi, so today we're going to be recreating my own Instagram video because I want to. I want to recreate this look. Um, yeah, so before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed before you leave and you can give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out. And then you can follow me on my makeup related Instagram because I, I post videos and you can watch videos there and here. All right, let's just dive right in. The palette we're going to be using is going to be the, I'm only going to do the eyes by the way, um, because the face portion of the video, the, I use the Too, Too Faced um, Peach Perfect foundation and that's too dark for me right now. So, um, but we're using the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette. We're only using a couple shades out of this palette. Um, I'm going to play the video for you right now. take this brush by Luxie and we're first going to go into the shade this <laughs> this one I know it's not labeled anything so this is a great palette by the way and I'm gonna throw that in the crease and in my video I have my face done first um but like I said I'm not following the face portion so we're just gonna wing the face zoom in a little bit more if I can. Is that better? Okay. And then we're going to go in with this brown. Wait, actually, let me just double check. Yes. So we're going to go in with that brown shade and put that a little bit lower and maybe more on like the outer portion of the eye. I got a lot of great compliments on um, this eye look when I wore it. I wanted to show YouTube how to make it. And it's really simple. And I just went in with that same brush. And then I believe the next step is like the no liner liner. Yeah, so what I did was I got a small brush. Let me see if I can find it is this one. So it has a little bit of purple on it right now, but it's fine. So what we did was we went into the black shade. And I took like a small kind of like, it's kind of like a detail crease brush. <clears throat> and you just pick up a little bit of product. And what I did was basically a no liner liner look. So not using any um, eyeliner, just shadow. We stamped, I hope I can recreate this. Because that, in that video, I remember it was like a spur of the moment decision to do that. So um, what I did... <clears throat> was I stamped on product so I went oh wait this was this oh no this wasn't the brush shoot this was the brush okay 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 all right I found the brush it was this pixie <clears throat> I don't know I'm losing my voice or something all right so got the product packed it on which I already kind of did and we went all the way over and as you get in the inner part <clears throat> instead of like packing it on you can just kind of brush it on because it's going to be a smoked out look all right i'm going to pack a little bit more on on the outside right here and then what i did was i got a big fluffy brush okay so i got this brush 
looks like it's just a bent blender. And then I didn't pick up any additional product. And what I did was, <clears throat> what I did was, uh, I just kind of took whatever product was there and just went up and down and created a wing. Now we're going to have to obviously go back in and kind of make that a little bit darker because we're blending the shadow out. I'm getting fallout all over. I don't remember this happening. I need to watch the video again. Oh, I started with a small brush. Shit. I was supposed to wing it out first with a small brush. Alright, it's fine. We take the big brush and just kind of soften it. This is a little bit more intense than the other one was. But I'm going to clean up all that and make it a little bit shorter as well. I'm so surprised that this worked the first time and there wasn't any like fallout. This is really a big liner right now. So that's the basic look. I know in my video originally the look is more kind of blown out. It's not really defined like this one is. So I'm going to go back in once this kind of dries. I want to do the other eye first and then I'm going to go back in and kind of like smoke everything out and make it really like like blended looking, not really precise. You know what I mean? So, but it's cool. I don't know. Um, okay. I'm going to tap my brush. I'm going to follow the actual steps in the actual video of the tutorial that I'm supposed to be watching. All right. So packing it on first on the outside per the video and bringing it over and then winging it out with the small brush thinking I'm gonna have to clean that one up too I don't know why it worked so well the first time with the I guess because it was like a spur of the minute decision so I I don't think I cleaned it up like I don't think I got a makeup wipe and like clean that up because I had my face makeup on I'm trying to remember so we're gonna clean up the other side as well Right, so the other side has more wing to it, so we're going to, I don't know why I can't freaking do this today. I think that's as good as it's going to get right now. Um, I'm just going to move on. So I'm going to grab this Luxie brush, it's just a flat top brush, and we're going to go, I have to check the shade actually. I can't believe how easily I did that before and like I'm having such difficulty now. That's so annoying. Maybe I put too much product on. Okay, so I went in with this shade right here and I put that all over the lid and I used a brush. Um, so I'm just going to do that now. And just put that all over and you don't have to worry about getting it in the black because I go in and fix that anyway. This is such a pretty color. I love this palette so much. I go back in with the black and I kind of intensify anything that may have been like covered up by that lid shade. Alright, and then last step. We're going to take this silver shade and I'm going to pop that in the inner corner and I don't remember if I wet this or not and I don't think I show it. Yeah, I don't think I wet it so I'm just going to go in with the same brush I used in that video and pop this on the inner corner. Oh no! I just dug a hole in this shadow. No! I think the problem is that I 
made this liner a little bit thicker than the other time. But yeah, so that's the completed eye look. I'm going to go finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be right back to kind of talk about what just happened. All right, be right back. Alrighty, so I finished the rest of my makeup. I'm a little bit more okay with the eyes now. They look a little bit better to me. I think with the rest of the makeup definitely helped. Um, but what did you think? I did not think it was going to be that hard. Like, I can't believe, like, I, I didn't do it the same way. This video was from June, um, or at least that's when it was posted. So, I mean, it was probably from June. I don't really pre-film that far ahead. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, would you recreate this look? I think it's beautiful. I think it's, like, if you get it right, it's pretty easy. There's only, like, four colors, um, that you really need. And, and they're pretty, I don't want to say basic, but they're pretty basic. Like, I'm sure you have these other colors in your collection, like a mid-tone brown, a, a deeper brown, a black. Like, you probably have these in your collection already that you could recreate this look very, very easily. Um, and it's, I think it's pretty simple. I mean, if you're, unless you're like me and you literally can't, do it twice um but yeah i think that this is like a really good like going out look you know what i mean um but yeah thank you so much for watching i'm sorry that you had to sit through me struggling with that that was it's a little bit embarrassing honestly um but yeah so i will see you in my next video bye